it's been just a, an incredible journey here for these folks. And it, we're here. The day is here. We're just glad you can be here for the celebration and that this can take place for them. And they're glad you're here. Everybody that's put so much into this wedding and into this celebration. And I know they truly want to say thank you. We every time, every time no more. It's cold on the floor, it's cold on the floor. This house has never been the same as before. It's never felt warm, never felt warm. There's something moving through the windows and walls. I've seen it before, I've seen it before. You left me living with a linger and so How little you know, how little you know. Like to go back, like to go back I chose to travel as a lonely man So much that I like, so much that I like I'm always wishing I was walking that road Something I hope, something I hope I take it with me all the places I go How little you know, how little you know things that I like to do at weddings that I perform and, and that is to recognize all the guests that are here. Will you as witnesses promise to do in all your power to uphold these two persons, these two, Carly and Bob, an encouragement. You know, marriage is hard. Marriage is tough. We always need somebody there to keep, keep us focused, keep us going in the right direction and keep that love. Marriage is about working it out together. People have asked me, how do you know when you're ready to be married? Can you work life out with one another? And it takes help. It really does. And so will you as a congregation, will you also promise to do all that you can to help this marriage succeed by saying we will? Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I do. I've had the privilege, the very first wedding that I've ever performed was over 30 years ago, and it was Lenny and Kim Gagliardi. And now I have the privilege of the first baby in, that, in a marriage that I know of that I'm doing that wedding. And then hopefully after six, seven, eight children, my son will do the wedding for you all, all right? But it is a privilege to be here and, and love both families that are here and all the guests that are here and just to be part of this. Love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own. 
is not irritable, and it keeps no record of wrong. Love does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever there's truth. Love never gives up. Love never fails. Love is always hopeful. And love endures through all circumstances. Do you love her? Are you going to listen to what she says? Okay, I'm just making sure. I, Robert, take you, Carly, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. I, Carly, take you, Robert, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish. <laughs> Till death do his part. As God is my witness, I give you my promise. A circle. It's it symbolizes eternity, that there's never ending in, in sight there. And it's the kind of love that you should have one for another. That it's never ending. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow, and with all that I am. And all that I have, I honor you. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. With all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. Now that Carly and Robert have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with joining of hands and giving and receiving of rings I pronounce your husband and wife you may kiss your bride who today is a beautiful young woman. I love you. You came into this world and taught two kids who were barely out of big hair and parachute pants the meaning of unconditional love, and from there we became a family. You were the best baby we could have ever imagined, and although it's been said many times, I'm not losing a daughter, I'm gaining a son-in-law, and a 100-pound dog named Indy. I love you both. Bob, um, for my entire life you've always been there for me, even if on my first day in this life you unsuccessfully tried to poke my eyes out. Um, after that, you were there to show me the ropes and to protect me on the playground when I needed it. I am truly thankful for the lessons I, that you've taught me, such as how to get into trouble and how not to get into trouble by watching you get in trouble and learning from your mistakes. 
Most importantly, you've always shown me the difference between right and wrong, how to work hard, and how to be the person I am here, standing here honored to be next to you guys on this day. You're the best big brother that anybody could ever ask for. I'm truly grateful that the two of you have found each other, and I am so grateful that we are all privileged here today to witness your guys' special day. I cannot wait to see all the great things you guys are going to accomplish together, and I really wish you guys the best. Cheers. I am not only honored to call Carly my sister, but my best friend. She is driven and intelligent, and she puts thought, effort, and dedication into everything she does. And I know that she will approach her role as a wife in the same way. Carly and Bob have faced challenges, overcome obstacles, postponing your wedding being one of them, and stayed strong together through it all. And that's what love is all about. So cheers to Carly and Bobby. I love you guys so much. Thank you.